Hello there, it's bad news for Hearts and Partick Thistle. Jamie, what can you tell us? Yes, promotion and relegation stands after a three-person panel found unanimously in favour of the SBFL. Their decision is final and binding. If we're looking for the reasoning behind it, we aren't going to get it as all arbitration proceedings are held in private. Uh, Hearts and Partick Thistle are now also likely to be handed a significant bill with expenses still to be thrashed out over the coming days. Reactions come in. Neil Doncaster, the SBFL chief executive, says he's delighted and repeated his line about being vindicated over the early curtailment of last season. We've also heard from Dundee United, Wraith Rovers and Cove Rangers. They say they're just looking forward to getting next season started with a bit of certainty. This is a big defeat for Hearts and Partick Thistle. Sure is, Jamie. Thanks. Now to the latest on Alfredo Morelos' future. So, Chris, what do we know? Well, we know that Lille are keen on Morelos Rangers. <laughs> I suppose there's been a lot of speculation about will they need to sell him. Nothing official either way yet, but Jermaine Defoe, he's the number two striker. He's injured, so can't play against Aberdeen at Pataudry on Saturday. Rangers will be desperate to keep hold of him this season. I'm sure Steven Gerrard would love to see him lead the line, but money talks. If they have to sell Morelos, who are they looking at? Well, they've been linked with Peterborough striker Ivan Tony, who's also uh, an interest of Brentford, and as well, Anderlecht frontman Kimar Roof. But it may be that a deal can't be done there. What will happen? Well, watch this space. It's going to be a very interesting few days in the lead-up to the new season. Sure is. Cheers, Chris. Celtic faced Hibs in a pre-season friendly today. Rory, you were there. I was there. It was the first time ever being at a closed-door game here at Celtic Park. It was very strange. There was a lot of canned supporter noise trying to create some atmosphere, but it just wasn't like what it would normally be here at Celtic Park. A 3-1 win for Celtic in the end, a double by Patrick Clamalla. But the good news for Celtic fans, Lee Griffith's return. He got 30 minutes this afternoon. He looked very sharp despite Neil Lennon's comments last week about his fitness and he could be contention for the league opener against Hamilton here on Sunday. When he came on today, he looked really bright. That's his first bit of football for a while. And he's shown a, a lot more responsibility, you know, as an individual and within the team. So, you know, I'm really pleased with him and uh, you can see what he brings. And finally, after avoiding relegation, the Aston Villa players belted out a Neil Diamond Classic in the post-match celebrations. Hey, 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 hey.